This is the University of Michigan football helmet design. More about this on this, that, and the other. It's an unusual design, and I, I always wondered what that logo was supposed to mean for University of Michigan. Turns out it's not a logo, it's a winged helmet. Famed football coach Herbert Fritz Krisler was credited with popularizing the, popularizing the winged helmet nationwide in 1935 while head coach at Princeton. He ordered stock helmets bearing leather wings out of the Spalding catalog. He had the leather panels painted in contrasting orange and black colors, believing the design to have practical advantages on the field. In 1938, Chrysler became head coach of, and athletic director at the University of Michigan. And at the time, University of Michigan had plain black leather helmets. He added maize and blue coloring to the stock design. These helmets made their debut at the Wolverines' 1938 season opener against Michigan State. It had been worn ever since. It has been an icon at Michigan's football program, which held it exclusively for more than 70 years. A little bit I'm finding here and there on the internet. Chrysler once recalled his rationale for design. Michigan had a plain black helmet, and we wanted to dress it up a little. We had some color and used the same basic helmet. I had designed at Princeton. There was only one other consideration. Chrysler thought the unique helmet could be helpful to his passers as they tried to spot the receivers downfield. There was a tendency to use different colored helmets just for receivers in those days, but I always thought that would be as helpful for the defense as for the offense, says Chrysler. Princeton abandoned the design after Chrysler left in 1938, but 1998 re resurrected the winged design in orange and black for the Princeton Tigers. When David M. Nelson, a former Michigan player, became the head coach of the University of Delaware's football team, in 1951, Delaware began using a blue and gold winged helmet which they use to this day. Several high school teams across the country have also designed, adopted the design. Other athletic teams from the University of Michigan have incorporated their design into their headgear, including ice and field hockey, baseball, softball, lacrosse, rowing, and swimming. 1996, the Connecticut Coyotes of the Arena Football League wore red, white, and blue winged helmets. There's also evidence of it being used early on. On uh, National Football League teams, New York Giants wore an early version of the winged helmet in 1930-1931. The Bears used one in 1931-1932. Frankfurt Yellow Jackets wore a winged helmet in 1931 before the franchise folded due to the Great Depression. Yellow Jackets successors Philadelphia Eagles used the Yellow Jackets old uniforms, including the winged helmets, for their first two seasons in the NFL. I remember that light blue with yellow that the um, Eagles were wearing them one time for a throwback game. The short-lived Cincinnati Reds also used a winged helmet in 1933. Pittsburgh Pirates, now Pittsburgh Steelers, wore the winged helmet in 1935-1936. And finally, the Giants wore the winged helmet from 1937-1947, making them the last NFL team to wear a winged helmet on a regular basis, as well as the last NFL team to wear them on any occasion, until the Eagles wore the, the Yellow Jackets throwbacks in, in 2007, as well as the British Columbia Lions of CSFL used a winged helmet in 1960 and 1961. So... Quite a few teams use that, and the Delaware helmet, the Blue Hens, their helmet looks pretty close to Michigan helmet. I, I don't really know a difference between the two. There, there probably is some kind of difference, but that's why I was able to find out on the history of the winged helmet. Like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.